drinking buddies. What are 12 bottles I'm going to be hunting this summer? Let's go. I'm your drinking buddy. <sighs> All right, drinking buddies. So right here, I'm drinking some E.H. Taylor single barrel. It smells awesome. It tastes awesome. But we have 12 bottles to talk about, and this is not one of them. First up, we're talking about Old Overholt 10-Year Rye. What? It's a cast strength 10-year rye whiskey out of Old Overholt. Sign me up for that twice, please. I'll take two. Jack Daniels Single Barrel Barrel Proof Rye. $60 shelf bottle. Going to be around 133 proof. Sign me up. I need this in my life. I need Jack Daniels Single Barrel Barrel Proof Rye on my shelf behind me. I need it. I've been looking for one for years. They had that special release a couple of years ago and a lot of people say it's the best rye ever made. Oh, I want this one so bad. Old Forester 10 year. This is gonna be 1924 is gonna be the name of the release. Uh, I like Old Forester, get it at an older age. I'm excited. A lot of the Old Forester stuff you see is a very young age. So getting it at 10 years, I'm excited. If it's anywhere as good as the Jack Daniels 10, we're in for some good whiskey. Next up, the Bernheim Barrel Proof. Now, I may have talked about the A batch in the uh, previous short. I'm gonna be hunting the B batch. I'm gonna be hunting the C batch because that A batch is really good. Uh, if you don't know, this is gonna be a wheat whiskey at Barrel Proof from Heaven Hill. Um, it's gonna be in the same line as the Larceny Barrel Proofs and the Elijah Craig Barrel Proofs. So you'll get three batches a year, an A batch, a B batch, and a C batch. And after trying the A batch from this year, they made a fan. New Riff High Note Collection. This is gonna be 110 uh, proof aged four years whiskey. Um, I'm liking everything that New Riff is doing. And admittingly, I can't actually hunt for this one because <sighs> New Riff's not available in Arizona, but I still am excited for this and I will try to find it in other ways, whether I buy it online or something. Knob Creek Seven Year Rye Whiskey, 100 proof. It's gonna be like a $37 bottle. Um, yeah, uh, I really look forward to this. Um, it should be similar to the regular Knob Creek Rye at 100 proof, but with a little more age on it, a little more oak on it. I'm excited to try this one out, and it is supposed to be a shelf bottle, so we'll see. Buffalo Trace Experimental Collection Peated Bourbon. This is going to be a $50, 375 milliliter, and I'm not really a peated guy, but Buffalo Trace did it, so I have to try this out. There's a Chattanooga bourbon that was peated that I tried a sample of and I enjoyed that. So maybe I just don't like scotch and uh, peated bourbon is right up my alley. We will find out if I can land the unicorn that is the Buffalo Trace Experimental Collection. This year's batch of Russell Reserve 13. Price went up 50 bucks. Maybe that means they'll be easier to find, huh? Huh? No, that just means the secondary price will go up $200. Uh, yeah, so the bottle is going to be $150 this year. I think that's too much for what it is, but ah, I love it. So what are you what 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 are you going to do? Uh, am I going to walk by it on the shelf because they raised the price? Nope, I'm going to buy it and get in trouble with my wife later. Barrel Batch 35. This is a uh, you know I'm I'm loving bar what Barrel is doing. Barrel Batch 34, I really liked, but I preferred 32 or 33. Um, so I'm excited for, for a 35 to be a bounce back. I'm not saying there was anything wrong with 34. I liked 34, I just preferred 32 and 33. 35, we'll see. I don't have any information on it yet, but they generally do a really good job of taking some, some older stuff from MGP, some older stuff from Dickel, and maybe a little bit younger stuff from Kentucky and, and blending that in there and making some really awesome stuff. Maker's Mark Cellar Collection. So this is going to be a 90.6 proof, 11 and 12 year blend from Maker's Mark. I have got to get my hands on this one. Um, the fact that it is a cellar aged whiskey means that that 90.6 proof could be barrel proof. I might be the only one who had this thought. There's some Dickel stuff that ended up being not even legally considered whiskey because it's under 80 proof uh, because cellars age things at so the proof drops, proof drops in a cellar. So uh, could be could be a maker's mark barrel proof at 90.6 proof. This could be really wild. I'm really excited for this. I, I can't wait for it. Probably the bottle I'm most excited for this year. This one, I couldn't spare you guys. Um, I know very little about this company, but I saw it online and it's one that I'm going to have to look for. It's going to be Kentucky Grit. This is going to be a corn whiskey 
the mash bill is going to be 81% corn, 10% rye, 5% barley, and 4% oats. And uh, that just sounds interesting. I am intrigued and I want to try it. Michter's 10 year bourbon, uh, it's out right now. Um, I've heard of a few places getting it. Um, seems like they instantly went to the secondary. Uh, but yeah, that's one I'm going to be hunting, even though I won't find it. Hopefully I will, though. Keep my fingers crossed and my toes crossed at all times until I do. Well, Drinking Buddies, that was 12 bottles I will be hunting this summer. This has been uh, E.H. Taylor Single Barrel. It's really good. One that you can't find. I haven't been able to find one in over a year. So, hopefully there's a lot of... Uh, E.H. Taylor uh, single barrels in your future and some of these bottles that I mentioned today. Hope you guys land some good stuff. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, like if you stayed this long. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber. If you're a super fan, there is a link to become a channel member down below. Barrel picks are coming. Just saying. Cheers.